The 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote, was ratified in 1919, 41 years after it was introduced to Congress. By the 1960s, more Western women were coming out of higher education than ever before, with new ambitions for themselves. They found their manifesto in a book that became a bestseller in 1963. Betty Friedan's book, The Feminine Mystique, sparked second-wave feminism, which took on reproductive rights and other gender inequalities, but was criticized for its lack of inclusiveness. Then, the third wave of feminism came along, which celebrated female sexuality as empowerment while putting in work to represent women of diverse identities. In spite of the effort, there is still a lot to be done. A person who believes in the social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. Public figures have been becoming increasingly vocal about being feminists and continue to fight for equal pay and proper representation in the media. And it's not just women. So a while back I was on the Ellen show and Ellen asked me if I would call myself a feminist and I said I absolutely would. To me it just means that your gender doesn't have to define who you are, that you can be whatever you want to be, whoever you want to be, regardless of your gender.